Welcome. Today you're going to need a block, a wall, and a mat. Let's start by coming onto our hands and knees, coming into tabletop. Inhale, come into cow pose, lifting your head and tail, moving your chest towards the mat. Exhale, round the back, lower the head. Inhaling to cow pose, moving your chest towards the mat. Exhale, round the back, lower the head. Let's do that twice more. Inhaling nice and slow. Feel the spine contract on the back body. And exhale, feel the front body contract as the spine stretches towards the ceiling. Inhaling nice and slow. Exhaling, rounding. Good, come to a neutral spine. We'll come on up to stand on our knees. Take a moment and make sure that you, your thighs are parallel. Your knees are about a fist width distance apart behind you. On an inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. And exhale, lead with your heart as you hinge from your hips, bringing your chest to your thighs and stacking your palms face up on your sacrum. Your forehead may or may not tap the mat. On an inhale, lead with your heart, lifting up, reaching up towards the sky. Keep moving with your breath. Rear moves back as you exhale, heart moves forward, open chest, then chest to thighs, release your forehead. Inhale, strong legs, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hinge from your hips chest to your thighs. On an inhale, lead with your heart, lifting up, reaching up. Keep moving with your breath. Rear moves back as you exhale, heart moves forward, open chest. Inhale, strong legs as you lift the chest and reach up overhead. Good, one more round, reaching up. And then exhale, bring your hands back to the mat and come into child's pose. Walk your hands forward, taking a moment to really lengthen the spine. This is an active child's pose. Think of like downward dog arms. Good, come on up. We're gonna come onto our backs, bend your knees, place your feet on the mat. Let your arms just rest alongside the body and take a deep breath in. Sigh the breath out. <sighs> Do that once more. Big breath in. Sigh it out. And then just take a moment to notice what areas of your body are making contact with the floor. Bring your hands to your belly and see if you can expand your belly into your hands as you inhale. And as you exhale, just let the belly fall to the mat. And not only are you expanding the belly forward as you inhale, but towards the back too. So expanding low back into the mat as you inhale. And as you exhale, letting everything just fall further to the mat. Do that a few more rounds in each exhale, uh, very intentionally clearing out the lungs, uh, exhaling any tension, worry, stress, let things go on the exhale.
Good. And then walk your feet as wide as your mat, a little wider than shoulder width distance, perhaps knees are bent. Extend your arms left and right, and then begin to windshield wiper your knees side to side. As you do this, one side of the pelvis will lift, the other side will stay grounded. So just nice and easy, feeling the thigh bones kind of twirl around in the sockets. Now, next time the knees go right, pause there. Keep the feet flexed so the toes are peeling back. And then on an inhale, reach your arms back behind you. Take a big morning stretch. And then come back through center. Knees go left. Exhale completely if you haven't already. And then with an inhale, big morning stretch. Arms reach back behind you. And exhale, release, come back through center. Walk the feet together, let the knees fall apart. Cobbler's pose, take a moment here. Just noticing what kind of sensations are arising in the body where you're feeling this. Take about two more breaths in this pose. And then help the knees together with the hands. Gently draw right knee into chest. And then straighten the elbows. So uh, you're holding on to the right knee right then. You can even hold on to the back of the thigh if that's easier for you. So the right thigh is arms distance away from the uh, chest. Left foot is on the floor. On an exhale, bend your elbows to bring the thigh towards the chest. And on the inhale, straighten the elbows back to beginning position. Let's keep going. Just gently uh, moving the leg in the socket, keeping the spine long. Next time the thighs drawing into the chest, straighten your opposite leg upon asana. We call this one. So extending that opposite leg towards the mat. And then bend left knee, left foot on the floor, right foot on the floor as well. Second side, left thigh comes to chest, hold on to the uh, leg in some way, straighten the elbows, neutral spine, neutral pelvis. Exhale, bend the elbows, inhale, straighten. Exhale, bend the elbows, Inhale, straighten. A few more times like that. Keep the pelvis neutral. Notice if there's a, a tendency to round in the back as you uh, bend the elbows. Keep it a uh, long waist. And then next time the thighs into the chest, straighten the opposite leg, upon asana. Great, place both feet on the mat, knees bent. Hands back to your belly. Take three big belly breaths into the hands.
Now, next time you exhale, completely evacuate the lungs, tummy stays in, keep that, and then fill the lungs up again, but we're gonna keep the tummy firm. You're gonna draw your left knee once again back into the chest. Tummy is strong. Inhale, extend your right leg uh, to hover just above the mat. So we're in like a right leg hovering upon us and flex your right foot, tummy strong. On your next exhale, swing your right leg vertical. So now the right leg, heel reaching towards the sky, right? My, my leg is straight, your, your leg might only come up to here, that's totally fine, but we're looking to see, can we get a nice stretch behind the back of the leg? On the inhale, tummy in, right leg horizontal, let it hover. And then on the exhale, bend your right knee into your chest. So that's the movement. We're gonna kind of go in a flow here. Inhale, hover right leg horizontal, toes peel to knee. Exhale, right leg vertical, feel the stretch. Inhale, right leg horizontal, strong tummy. Exhale, knee to chest. Twice more, inhale, horizontal. Exhale, vertical. Inhale, horizontal. Exhale, knee to chest. Second side, hold on to the right leg. So maybe on the shin, maybe behind the um, thigh. Strong tummy as you inhale, left leg now vertical, hovering above the mat, neutral pelvis. Exhale, left leg vertical. Inhale, left leg horizontal. Exhale, left knee to chest. Inhale, left leg horizontal, hover it, strong tummy. Exhale, left leg vertical, toes peel to the knee, feel the stretch. Inhale, horizontal. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, horizontal. Exhale, vertical. Inhale, horizontal, knee to chest. Pause here, give yourself a hug. Maybe rock a little side to side, massaging the low back. Let's take our time coming up to a standing position. Have your block nearby. And just feeling your connection with the planet. Now for this next part, we're gonna be lifting our arms up and then folding forward. You're welcome to rest your fingertips on the block if the forward fold feels a little too abrupt or you can bring the fingertips to the floor as we come in and out of this posture. So to begin, inhale, reach your arms up, draw your tummy in, exhale, knees slightly bent, swan dive towards the floor, maybe fingertips to a block, maybe fingertips to the floor, your choice. Keep those knees slightly bent, let your head go. On the inhale, reverse swan dive. So broad chest as you're coming up, push your feet into the floor, reach up. And then exhale, broad chest as you dive back down, knees slightly bent, fingertips resting on something as you come to the earth, let your head go. Let's do this about three more times. Feel the strength of your legs, your connection to this earth. Last one. And the next time you come down, let's just pause there. Get fingertips on the block or on the floor, your choice. Really letting your trunk just cascade towards the floor, just kind of like a waterfall falling over the legs, letting the head go. You could shake the head, a little yes, a little no. Again, those knees are bent. As you lean a little forward onto the toes and then lean a little bit back towards the heels, just notice how the sensation changes. Feel your breath. And 
Nice. And then this time we're just going to roll up. Keep those knees bent. Rolling up one vertebrae at a time as the last to come up. And then you can straighten the knees. Take a couple breaths here, mountain pose. Good. So let's um, take a wide stance. Place your block. You want you start with your block on its highest setting uh, right in front of you. So inhale, reach your arms up and out to the side. Have your toes pointing forward. Keep a soft bend in your knees, just a slight bend. And then as you exhale, bring your right hand to the top of the block. Left arm lifts up any amount. Keep your back nice and long. Inhale, come on back up, arms wide. Exhale, left hand to the top of the block. Right hand reaches towards the sky. Inhale, come on back up. Okay. Let this be really gentle on the shoulders too. So um, if the left arm just kind of comes halfway out to the side, no problem. It doesn't have to go straight up towards the sky. You can even bring opposite hands to the hips and just work on uh, one hand on the block, opposite hand on the hips, okay? So make this right for your body today. What we're most interested in is we're just kind of agitating um, the stomach. We're bringing a little bit more movement into the stomach, the digestive system. Keep moving with the breath. And again, if you want to lower the block or get rid of it, feel free. Exhale is when we twist and come towards the floor. Inhale is when we come up. A few more times like that. Let's do about two more on either side. Good, and then release the arms alongside the body, roll the shoulders, and then let's meet back on the floor. So come on to hands and knees. Spread those fingers wide, wrists under shoulders. Inhale, come into cow pose. Exhale, round the spine, round, round, round tummy to spine, and then heart to thighs. Sitting back towards the heels, let your head go. This is called chakra vipassana. We're coming in to all fours on the inhale, into a back bend, and then on an exhale, we're rounding the back and bringing the chest to the thighs, letting your head go. Let's do that twice more. And a little pause in child's pose, couple breaths here. Good, come on up through all fours. And then we'll come onto our backs. Extend your left leg and draw your right knee into the chest. Give the right shin a hug for a moment. And now keep the right thigh into the chest and extend your arms left and right. Rotate your palms face up and have your wrists in line with your shoulders. Lengthen uh, your neck by walking the shoulder blades down the back. And now on an exhale, you're gonna swing your top knee to the left. So uh, right knee swings to the left and now your hips are stacked, right hip over left. Inhale, come on out of it. Back of the pelvis to the mat. 
exhale, little twist. So my right leg doesn't make it to the floor, that's okay. Inhale, coming back through center. Exhale, twist. Inhale through center. Now exhale, twist, we'll pause there for a moment. Extend the right hip towards the left foot. Lots of length. And turn your head to the right. Good, come on back through center. Right foot to the mat, left foot to the mat. Neutral pelvis, feel your breath. Extend your right leg now. Draw left knee into the chest. Same thing, second side. As you exhale, knee swings to the right. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, stacking the hips left over right. Inhale, back of the pelvis to the mat. Keep moving to the rhythm of your breath. Each time exhaling, letting go of something. We'll do about two more. Now, next time you're in the twist, you'll just pause here. Lengthening the top hip away from the face, turning the head to the left. One more easy breath. And then come back through center. Release the left foot to the mat, right foot to the mat. Take a moment. Big, soft belly breath in. Easy breath out. As you take your next big belly breath in, can you expand the low back as well? Maybe imagining or feeling the low back swell into the mat as you inhale. And as you exhale, feel the weight of the bones of your body. Couple more breaths like this. And then we'll roll to one side. Come on up for a seat. I'd like you to take the back of your mat and just hold it up until you have a little bit more of a lift of your hips. And so your hips are just a little bit higher uh, than the rest of your body. We'll extend the legs out in front of us. Mm -hmm. Flex the feet and just sit really tall for a moment. Notice where you feel a uh, sensation in the body. Where do you feel the stretch? Where do you feel the strength? You wanna keep your feet flexed and inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, fold forward over the legs. So we have our hips lifted slightly to help our pelvis tilt forward. So we want the front of the pelvis to tilt towards the mat. And how far your hands go down the legs, not so important, but more what's important are you flexing the feet? Do the toes peel back? Are you breathing? Um, we want a nice gentle arc of the back in this pose. Keep the chest broad, even though you're folding forward. I like to stuff my hands underneath my calves uh, in this posture. I find that it helps my knees bend a little bit and then it helps me kind of spread the sensation of the stretch in the hamstrings. And big, soft belly breath in. Feel the weight of your body with the exhale. 
let your head go and for the last three rounds of breath on the exhale i'd like you to do raspberry lips so big breath in flattering the lips letting go of tension in the face Slowly come on up. Unroll uh, the back of your mat. Let's come on to the floor. Bend the knees and place the heels uh, just in front of the knees on the mat. Thighs will be parallel and toes will be pointing forward. Doing a little bit of pelvic tilt here. Exhale. Round the low back into the mat as you draw your tummy in. Inhale, let the low back get light, soft, big belly breath. Exhale, front of the pelvis tilts to towards the face. Low back into the mat. Inhale, front of the pelvis tilts away from the face. Low back light off the mat. Next time you exhale, pressing low back into the mat, tummy toning in, keep that rounded low back and press the feet down to lift the rear, lift the mid back, and then moving up to the upper back. Keep your gaze on the ceiling, bridge pose, all four corners of the feet into the mat, glutes working, thighs moving towards center line of the body. Exhale, roll down the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Tummy in, low back to the mat, then rear to the mat. Let's do that again. Inhale, low back to the mat, lift the bum, lift the low back, lift the mid back, strong legs. Exhale, roll down, mid back, low back, rear. Let's add arms, inhale, Sweep the arms up as you lift the pelvis and back behind you to the floor as you're up in the air. And then exhale, rolling down the spine, sweeping the arms up and then alongside the body. Not so important about how high the hips are lifting. So mostly we're interested in the breath. We're interested in the movement of the spine, the activation of the core. And then keep the arms back behind you, slowly roll down the spine one vertebrae at a time. Now your rear is on the mat, the arms are just heavy back behind you on the floor. And just feel the gentle stretch maybe in the armpit area, the upper arms. Slowly turn your head to the right. Slowly turn your head to the left. Come back through center, head uh, through center, gaze at the ceiling, and then inhale, roll up the spine, bridge pose, one last time. Exhale, now sweep the arms up, and rears on the floor, arms alongside the body. Soles of the feet together, let the knees go wide. Take a few breaths here in reclined cobbler's pose. Hands can come to the belly, big belly breath into the hands. Exhale, soften, let go, relax.
Good, help the knees to close, feet on the mat. Now we're gonna move over to our wall. Okay, so you can roll to one side, come on up. And um, I'd like you to be um, about an arm's distance away from the wall. So scoot yourself on over and you kind of sit and like what's an arm's distance? Like place your hand on the wall. Great, arm's distance. That's good. And then come on down. And now here you are, you're like sitting in a chair on the floor. Scoot your bottom a little bit closer to the wall so that now uh, your bottom is closer to the wall than your knees. Extend your arms left and right, and then walk your feet to the left, coming into a twist, letting the legs fall to the floor. Right hip is stacked over left, Gazing at the ceiling, you feel the backs of the hands rest on the floor. You're welcome to turn your head to the right. So uh, this twist, the deeper the release in the back you're gonna feel, um, the closer your bottom is to the wall. So um, this is more mild. Uh, if you wanted more of like a real low back release, you'd really scoot your bottom close till your thighs are quite close to your chest and then you come into it stacked and that's really gonna give you a really nice release in the back. So feel into it, what do you need today? We're gonna take a couple more breaths here. And then come back through center. Take a moment through center. And then walking the feet to the right. Letting the head turn to the left. Breathe deep. So one, one thing that you'll notice too, the closer that you get your bottom to the wall, maybe the knees don't come together as you come to the twist, maybe the thighs are apart. That's okay. What I'm interested in is what is the quality of your breath? Is, does this feel like a real healthy stretch for your back, for your body? Last round of breath. And then walk the feet back through center. If you decided to go deep in the twist, I encourage you to start to scoot away from the wall a little bit more now so that your knees are over your pelvis for this next one. We want our thigh bones vertical for this one. And we'll come into figure four, so like pigeon pose in the pool. We're using the wall to help support this hip opener. Flexing the top foot. And of course, the closer you get your bottom to the wall now, the deeper uh, the hip opener is gonna be. So feel into it. Once you get into it, if you're feeling okay in your knees, your body, scoot closer if that's what you need. A couple things you could do with your arm here. Uh, you could bring the hands back behind the head. I'm just kind of enjoying a little bit of a stretch in uh, the armpit area, the biceps. You could also extend the arms left and right. Or maybe hands to the belly to help encourage soft belly breathing. Two more breaths. Second side, right foot to the wall, 
left foot on, left ankle on top of right thigh. So something else to consider is the position of your pelvis in this pose. If you tilt your pelvis, the front of your pelvis away from your face, the um, stretch will deepen. Continue soft belly breathing, finding a variation of this pose with your arms that feels supportive, feels helpful to your body today, your mind today. Right, and then you'll release the left foot to the wall. Next is your legs up the wall. Nice way to um, get a little bit of a stretch behind the backs of the legs. To do that, you're gonna roll to one side into fetal position, inch yourself closer to the wall till your bottom is, I would say about four inches from the wall. And then from here, just go ahead and roll onto your back, kick those legs up the wall. Here you go. So the more intense this pose will be, the closer is your bottom is to the wall. If you're finding it's too much for the legs, you can bend them, you could scoot a little further away from the wall. Let this feel like a relaxing pose. If it doesn't, come onto your back, Shavasana. And wherever you are, just take a moment, scan through the body. If you know that there's certain areas you tend to habitually hold tension, invite those areas to relax. So it's an invitation, not a requirement. Breathing some spaciousness around these areas, big soft belly breath. Next is Shavasana. Go ahead and roll to one side and crawl back to your mat. Extend the legs. Find a nice neutral pelvis. If you need to stuff a pillow under either knee, go ahead and do that. Moving towards Shavasana. But first, I'd like you to bring your hands to your belly. Inhale, big, soft belly breath expands into the hands and then exhale, let it fall towards the floor. Again, soft, big belly, inhale, expand, exhale, fall towards the floor. One more time like that, into the hands as you inhale, exhale, let it go. Keep breathing, soft belly breath, rub your hands together. Warm up the hands. And then gently place the heel of each hand, the palm of each hand on your eyes. Melting the tissue, the flesh, the muscles underneath the hands. Letting the eyes rest, the forehead rest. Soft breath. And then gently just kind of pulling the skin apart on the forehead. So moving the skin away from each other, left to right with your hands, pull it apart, sweep the hands out, and then move the hands to the temples, give the temples a little rub. Moving fingers down to the jaw, give the jaw a little rub, little circular motions. And then release the arms alongside the body. Just scan through your body, make sure that 
Uh, you are feeling comfortable. You're able to feel relaxed in this position. Letting go, letting go. And imagine each time you inhale that the edges of your body expand. It's like you're uh, one of those windsock men uh, that are outside car dealerships. As the wind blows, they expand. So as you inhale, your body expands. As you exhale, feel the weight of your body. So I'll leave you here. Thank you so much for practicing. Namaste.